Welcome, welcome, boys. Okay. It's going to be part two of our BMW E38 uh, body damage repair. So, part one, we removed the bumper and stitched up our crack. That's done. I'm just waiting for some Bondo to show up so I can Bondo that crack and then paint it. And that, but that'll be in part three. So part two is what we're doing today, and that's going to be focusing on this damage right here. So after Homeboy smashed in the back of my beast with his no insurance and then drove off like the asshole he is. And this was before I put the full coverage on it. For those who don't know, I didn't have the full coverage because I was in the process of restoring it early in the playlist. And I had just finished it five days prior and said to myself, ah... Well, what are the odds someone's going to smash into it before the uh, policy is up for renewal? I'll get full coverage on it then. No one will crash into it within the next few months. Five days later, boom, done. All right, so now we have full coverage, so this will never be a problem again. But today, we're going to go ahead and remove this tail light. <clears throat> That's easy enough. I don't think you need to see me do that. Um, but then we'll have full access to this. So I'm going to get in here with my wire wheel on my angle grinder and grind this down to its bare metal. Then we're going to use a Harbor Freight stud welder, which I happen to have handy. This big son of a bitch. But uh, that's all we got with it. I have tested it does actually work, uh, at least the stud welder does, I haven't used the slide hammer that comes with it yet, but game plan is going to be going to grind all this rust off to where at bare metal, we're going to uh, use the stud welder to weld those studs in here and try to pull this out so where it looks like that. Then I've got my body uh, hammers. Uh, Maddox makes that. Uh, the kit's in the basement, but uh, you'll see it here shortly. And then we'll try to beat it straight. Once we get it as straight as we can, we'll sand everything back down or grind everything back down. Shoot it with uh, a couple coats of that rust reformer, I think is what I'm going to end up doing. I'll just put it on thick. Then we'll sand that and scuff it a scotch. And then hopefully by the time that's all done, Katie will be off work and back with my Bondo. I can apply the Bondo. And then that'll be the end of the video. And then in part three, of course, we'll be painting it in the bumper and then reassembling it. But that's what to expect in this video. So let's move on, shall we? Okay, boys, so this seems to be the best I can actually do, given how concaved and in this is. So what we're going to do next is kind of soften this metal up. So we're going to get the heat gun. That dude. That's my uh, body kit. Seven-piece body and uh, fender set that we'll be using to hammer that stuff flat. But this is where we're going to be using it at the moment. And so we're going to heat this up, and then once the metal gets nice and softy soft, uh, then we'll go ahead and take our stud welder, try to weld where we can anyway, 
and start pulling this out. And then once we get it out enough, we can sand the rest of this off, get it as close as we can, and bash its brains in. So we'll see how this goes. All right, boys. So we got our stud welder. She's plugged in. So you just make the complete circuit here by pressing this guy up against the steel and then pressing the button and then now that we've got it kind of warm this should stick fairly easy oh you want to go kind of outside and work your way in so we'll weld as many of these as we can over here and just start pulling until we can you know figure out how we're going to get to that Moving along. Pulling it out as best as we can. This big lip up in here, I really can't just, I can't get any better. Um, so now we can bash this thing's brains in a little, bash this other high spot in, and then I think we'll be okay. At that point, I might be able to pull this out a little bit more, but not much. So I don't think there's a whole hell of a lot much more I can do for it. So we'll try to flatten this out, and then uh, we'll start a priming and then uh, okay you should be home a couple hours I think with the Bondo hmm, we might need to heat this up a little before our bondo. So we have no rust, so there's no need to rust reform anything. It's just simply bash its brains in so we think this little crease here should be okay. This should be in far enough and we should be able to bondo it without any high spots. We hope. But I guess that remains to be seen. So once Kitty shows back up with the bondo, go ahead and bondo it. And when that dries, we'll be able to prime it, paint it, and then uh, hopefully you won't be able to tell a fella ever smashed into the back of it. But uh, for this video, we'll just be doing the Bondo, 
and then uh, we're going to do paint and everything, the final video, because we also have to bondo and paint the rear bumper and the trim panels and all that good stuff for that. It's been a while since I put hard on this one, though. You only have to use a scotch. Who's doing this? Marry you. You can use that, uh, yeah, there we go. Tell them you gotta evenly mix it so all your hard hair is not clumped up in spots or having that. If you don't have your bondo with any hardener, it'll be a little harder. Probably should have made more. We might have just enough. <laughs> well, I'm gonna have to do it several times, but. Well, I mean, just enough to cut one. I shouldn't have got the big No, because how often do I do body work? This is the one and only time I'm going to have to do it. Once this fucking... Yeah, this stuff doesn't keep forever. It'll eventually dry out. Yeah, once we get this set... When it hardens, and finally sand it to the shape of this, as fast as it can, Give it another coat, sand it again, and then once it's 100% perfect, prime it, and then she'll be ready for paint. So this stuff hardens quick, so you can't be playing around with it. Especially because I got a little too much hardener in it. Yeah, I saw you You went a little ape shit with it, and I was like, eh, you really should only use like one thin bead right across the middle of Who's it. doing this? Mere you. I'm just saying, I've always done it like one thin bead. If you always done it, then why am I doing it? Have you always like done it? You, like he does me. Well, you're the pro. I thought it would be it would be better. Thirty five fucking years ago, I might have been proing. <laughs> like ice in a cake. Oh well, if it's all just like ice in a cake. Then Katie, why don't you get over here and, and do it, Miss? I ice cakes every other week. I ice cakes every other week. don't want to get too much because then it's more sanding. Yeah, that's one thing I hate doing it. You can always sanding. build it up, but it takes forever to get rid of it. Now, how long does it take to set and dry? Is that like it's, every what do you think that hardener is for? It fucking hardens quick. This shit's done in like 15 minutes. So, I could do a layer and then in 20 minutes do another layer? No, it'll be... It'll be you got to sand it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So it's really we just gotta get the steel covered so it don't start rusting sitting out here. And everything on the bottom that's exposed that can easily... Yeah. For $13... There's a little 13. on the bottom. I don't know if you want to bondo that or I can just prime it. Because I can tell like, stuff. Yeah, it's as hard as a rock. So don't even fuck with it then. Let it sit on your paddle. Don't leave it on there. And uh, the other thing that you want to do is you don't want to clean this off. Just let it harden and then you can just break it off. So, alright, that's coat one of the Bondo. Um, honestly, probably today will be it. I think tomorrow I'll be able to sand it down and put coat two. But she's getting there, boys. 338. Sooner rather than later will finally be mint looking. Okay, boys, now the following day, ideally I wanted Katie to come a little earlier with the Bondo. I wanted to have both coats of Bondo completely done in one day, and then today we would get done with painting. That way the whole car would be done. But I think more realistically, what's going to happen is we get all the Bondo done today, and then uh, 
we might have to wait on the paint, but that's okay. That's going to be its own video anyway. But uh, we shall see. So we'll go ahead. I'll do the Bondo on the bumper off camera, but we've already got this done. And it's sat overnight, so now we're going to use our rasp set and our sandpaper and kind of make this the shape of this as best as we can. Kind of get that curve in there and a rasp I think would fit in here just nicely. Get all that as straight as we can. Then uh, what we'll do is one thin coat of Bondo over that. Um, because the less Bondo you use, the less you will have to sand. So we can get that on, harden it up, and then we should be golden. So get you guys into a better position to see, and then let's get to rasping. Okay, boys, that is our first coat. Uh, sanded and rasped. So now we can see where our low and high spots are. So we got some low spots up in here. A little bit in here. So we'll have to kind of thicken it just to coat over that. And then we got a little low up in here. But once we fill that in, get just enough on there, we'll just do a light sanding at like 400 grit just to scuff it and make it as uniform as we can and then we'll shoot it with some primer once that hardens all right boys this is after our second coat you might be able to tell the color difference between first coat and second coat so now i think we just got a little bit more to go on the final coat here because we got just a little bit of a low spot here then you know like kind of runs in a little groove there a little bit here, a little bit there. A couple little spots, but we'll just do a thin coat. And we'll do like a 500 grit stand. And then we should be golden. I got Crown Vic. It's a bad dude right there, boys. Bad dude. Alright, we'll finish this up. And then this thing will be semi-party again.